I was like, I should have kissed him goodbye. Like, you know, I had no idea what would happen next. I uh, was running uh, like I normally do every day. It was on a Wednesday and I was in clinic. And then the next thing, someone was banging on her, my front door. I received a call on my phone. Something's happened to David, get in the car now. There's a 46-year-old man who is coming to the emergency room because of a cardiac arrest. Next thing I know, I'm in the hospital. Don't know exactly why I'm there when I wake up. And they said, we know this is you know, a lot going on right now with COVID, but we want you to go see him. So they did let me go see them briefly. Dr. Lee came in to see us, and he said, you know, he's breathing. And at that moment, that's all he hung on to. From there, I was able to tell that the front artery of his heart had a 99% blockage. Then I had to go home. The first night was awful. I called at 2.30 in the morning. I called this night nurse and I said, Margaret, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. And she was like, so, she felt like family to me. She was so comforting. She said, he's fine. I just went to check on him. You know, I'm with him. I'm not leaving his side. Then I could take a breath and go back to sleep. I don't keep saying, I don't know what I would do without Margaret. <laughs> and I've never met her. All the doctors, all the ER nurses, everybody, I can't speak highly enough about the professional job mm -hmm. and just the caring that really everybody put into into me, you know? And, and I can't imagine, they're doing that for every single person that's in the hospital, you know, regardless of why they're there. We have very good protocols in place so that we don't spread this disease between patient to patient. They are yeah. cleaning, they are taking all their precautions. So COVID did not cross my mind. I want these professionals to take the best care of my husband, which they did, and that's what crossed my mind. I, I remember it was time to leave, and my nurse, she was getting a wheelchair all ready for me, <laughs> cleaning it off. I'm like, I'm walking out of here. <laughs> you don't have to do that. <laughs> I want to walk out. We're thankful. The same word we go back to is thankful. Yeah. We just, we're thankful. Yeah. Anytime we're frustrated, we just say, we're thankful. I'm going to cry when you hug me. <laughs>